I'm Jeff Rubin here with Pat Castles, and today we are playing with the Star Wars Science Force Trainer. Introducing the Star Wars Force Trainer. Now you can use the awesome power of the Force to move an object with the power of your mind. The wireless Force Trainer headset uses the latest technology to connect your thoughts to the Jedi Training Tower. First step, turn the base tower on. Okay. It's, okay. it's cool that we have something hooked up to your brain, and also it makes lightsaber noises. That's makes, I've never felt safer. So the idea is to enter a relaxed state of concentration, and as your brain emits beta waves, it'll spin this fan faster, raising the ball. Okay. Concentrate on You're doing it. This is why I insisted to the council that we train Pat Castles. It's cool that this toy is introducing like brain waves to kids at such a young age, you know? Because when I was a kid, all it was was Lando Calrissian toys. I mean, if they had this when I was young, I might have been a brain surgeon instead of hosting this show with you. It's, it's sensing your anger waves right now. <laughs> the most important thing, Jeff, is you need to concentrate. Complete and full concentration. No distractions whatsoever. Jeff, you listen to me? I'm gonna make this work by just thinking about why anyone would ever buy this game. Now, Jake, you just see you you saw Star Wars fairly recently for the first time, right? Shut the shut up, bro. <laughs> so what are you thinking about? What, what's your strategy here? I was just pushing all the muscles in my head. <laughs> if we remove this, the top of this, and let it come out, we could play the most sophisticated game of beer pong ever. Uh... I'm thinking very graphically of you two doing this. I have a feeling George Lucas was using a similar device to this one when he came up with the concept of Star Wars and the Force. We're gonna try something new with you, Murph. We are gonna try setting you up with Brain Age, the DS game that supposedly activates your brain, and you'll be doing math, and we'll see if that really works. Jeff, you're like a mad scientist right now. Like, this, <laughs> this isn't like a video game. This is not an no, no, Xbox. No, no. You're like tinkering with people's brains. Yeah. <laughs> and he doesn't know how to talk. Oh man, that's so bad. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> cool. So I mean, if, if 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 people didn't think you were cool when you bought this toy, when you tell them you were doing math all day, <laughs> Josh, try just naming movies where people levitate things. Okay. In my head or out loud? Out loud. Just list them off. Okay. Phenomenon. Uh, Friday the 13th. <laughs> ah! It's in many ways the worst toy imaginable because to play with it, all you do is just sit there and concentrate and think. I'd love to show this to like a kid in the 50s who's got like a slinky and kerplunk and be like, oh, we got toys in the future that read your brain. But no one plays with them anymore because now we have video games too. No, man, you gotta trust your instincts. 